Kelly, you set a step down here as a coach at Welling Football Club. Are you able to describe your decision making behind this? I think it's purely uh, a lack of time and a lack of energy in my life, I think. So uh, scheduling my life for since the age of probably 10 years old around football and work and other commitments, it's just you, yeah, eventually you get to a point where you think something's got to give. Um, and it's just a refocusing on, uh, you know, other outside, you know, family, friends, and just having more time to do different things, really. You've been through a journey with the team. Are you able to talk about some of your favourite highlights and moments through this journey at the club? I think, obviously, last season was a, an exceptional season for us. Um, I, when I look back of where we came from and where we are now um, is something that we can be incredibly proud of. I think there's been a huge um, uh, development in the team um, and the standards that we set throughout throughout the, the club within the women's section. So, um, you know, standout has got to be winning the league for us. You know, we were out in front leading for most of the season and then got pegged back and then there was a, a chance where we thought maybe we're going to fall at the final hurdle. So to finally, you know, to make that, make that step and get that promotion was a massive step for us. You talk about last season, it was only, wasn't only just the league but also the League Cup as well. Winning that double, especially under the circumstance of what happened in that league, you must be incredibly proud of this. I think when you look back there were so many uh, very competitive teams in that league so there were you know half a dozen teams that could easily win that title and you see the same again this year so to get out of that league, to win that double last season was, was really, really special with a fantastic group of players. You've been able to see the development of this side. How proud are you of this side, of how far it's coming, especially what is coming hopefully in the next couple of years? I think it's, you know, when we uh, came into the club, we, we had a, an aim that we would like to keep progressing and pushing things on. Um, and every year we've achieved more, the standards have gone up, the quality of players increased. You know, we, we don't have to go out searching and scouting for players. We get calls from, from players that want to join us, which just shows, you know, what we're doing behind the scenes is working. Players talk to each other and, you know, they want to be part of this football club, which is fantastic. And just a final question from me, do you have any final words to the club and its fans? Just uh, keep the success, keep the progression, keep investing in this team because, you know, if you keep pushing this forward, find the right candidate to drive this team on, they will continue to be successful. The, everything's here for, for the club to keep pushing on. So I hope that they can continue the progress we've already made.